I mean, the biggest joke where your heir, um, most people would go crazy when they lost their heir. To me, it was godsend because I don't <laughs> like doing my hair anyway. Mm. My sisters just laughed because they said, at least you won't have to do your hair. And my, my strategy to that was, I've saved on, a fortune on shampoo, hair dyes, and hair spray. And, you know, that were a real godsend. But until it happens, and that's another thing that I can't believe. I took it to art by my hair. Well, I say took it to art. I cried once. I never thought I'd cry over losing my hair. Mm. So even though you're saying it didn't affect you so much, in one way it did affect you. Yeah. It, it sort of, you, you know, like, I'm the sort of person, I'd get up in the morning, I'd go down, I'd get dressed, I'd comb my hair, but that'd be it, I'd be out. Now my sisters are all makeup, hair done, blow dry your hair, you've got, everything's got to be in place. Not me. I'm more the tomboy one, I suppose. And um, So when it, my hair did fall out, I mean, I can remember that day. Mm. Uh, I was in Tesco's. And I'd got a navy coat on, and it obviously it was near Christmas. And I went in to Tesco's to pick something up, and it was the things I needed actually was on the top shelf. Mm. So I'd been lifting the arm up to get them. You know, you do. Oh, I'll have one of them. I'll have one of them. And this woman turned around and said, "It's going to be F again. Disgusting. People like her want locking up. So being nose there." I turned round, I thought, who's she on about? And whereas I turned round, all my hair was on my coat. Mm. I must have brushed it, and it had just fell. So I'd got the biggest pile of it, and I, I just couldn't breathe. I, I just had this panic attack, scared. So I, I picked, my, picked my basket up, turned round, walked out, put it on the checkout, and run out of Tesco's, crying like a baby. And my son said, what's the matter with you? And I went, look. And then he went, oh. And I said, oh, and I went like that. And my hair just come out with it. I said, just get me up, just get me up. I need to get home. And that, that done it. And I thought, you know, this is reality now. I mean, I guess your hair is such an integral part of your appearance, isn't it? We take a lot of pride in it. You know, uh, the length, the colour. <laughs> not me, like. not if you know me, no. Like <laughs> yeah. I say, I, that was one thing that really did surprise me. Yeah. Uh, my hair, losing my hair. How much it did affect you on that occasion. But the, the point is that you affected in, in a social situation when you were out, when other people could see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how I, were you indoors over the same issue? Um, well, when I got home after going to the supermarket, I actually done the most stupidest thing. And I went like that. I saw a gold bulb patch. And to this day, I don't know why I've done it. I just walked straight out. The, I got my coat, walked straight out the house. It's a five minutes walk from where I live to where I work. And I walked into where I worked and I said to my sister and my boss, just look at the state of my bloody hair. And they both, none of them said no, they just went. Mm. And I said, what? And they said, you do know you've got a great big bulb patch on the front of your head, don't you? I said, oh my. I said, oh well. And I laughed about it and then, I thought, when I looked in the mirror, I thought, this looks stupid. You've got two choices, ain't you? Get rid of it all. You can't, you can't do this. So, so what did you do? My niece is an hairdresser. And I rang her up and I explained my hair had started to come out. So she says, well, I, I know what you're going to ask me, but I'm not going to do it till you've got a wig. I says, I cannot afford to pay £75 for a wig. Or I refuse to pay £75 for a wig. Let's get it right. So anyway, that particular night, my cousin come, and I was talking to her, and we were talking, and I was saying that, she says, oh, your hair's coming out, I said, yeah. So she paid, she gave me the money for the wig. She mm. says, you're having one, go and get yourself one. It took two days on the internet for this wig to come. And my sister went up, she says, your wig's here. I went up and I had a look at it, I says, oh yeah, I've been every colour, this would like a red, so yeah, that'd be fine. So the next day I got up and I thought, I've got a choice. And I went and walked in the hairdresser and says, Nicola, can you just shave my hair off? And she said, no off I says, well, if you don't, I says, I will do it and I will make a mess of it. So she says, why? And I just went, 
that's why. And she stopped and she cried. She said, all the air I've shaved, you know, off, it's just not fair. I said, you got to do it because I'm not going like this. And she shaved it to no blade. And we're having a wig on it, irritated. Mm. So my cousin's bold. He's bold, he shaves his head, he don't let his hair grow. So I went to his house, knocked at the door. My auntie opened it. She says, what's up? I says, you're Mickey. She says, yeah, why? I just says, Mick, shave me hair. He says, why? I said, I'm getting sparks. What do you mean sparks? I says, because it's like prickly and it's rubbing on my wig. Mm. Like, it's making me itch. So he says, sit in the chair. So I used to go and he used to shave me hair. And my auntie would be panicking at the back, don't cut red. You watch with that razor. But that had gone. So not only did they did you shave it to a, a zero um, level, but you also shaved your head, which actually reduced the um, irritation, if you like. Yeah, yeah. because when you when you go to bed, if you, if it's like prickly air, it can irritate you. Yeah. But your head does get cold. I advise yeah. anybody that's going to have the red shave, please go <laughs> out. Because you freeze. Yeah. Now, how did you feel then about going out? Did you you start to use the wig then? I used the wig and then I also got bought um, a scarf at mm. Christmas. Mm. Um, don't get me wrong, the wigs look really good. Mm. But they're very irritating. I find it very irritating. Mm. So I put a scarf on. Um, and I just thought, well, I used to alternative. Yeah. Because, like I say, the wigs are all right, but... They can be very, they make your head sweat. And yes, they can be too irritating. hot or sweaty sometimes, just as it's too yeah. cold without. Yeah, you freeze. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I couldn't believe how cold you get, your head gets. Mm. And then I laugh because my mum used to say, why do you put an hat on a baby? Because the red gets cold, the body heat goes out. So that was another thing that came into my mind, keeping out. So I look lovely, Jarma's dressing gown and a nice woolly hat tied for bed. Because <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a lot of the hats that you do buy, um, for cancer, you know, like the silky ones, they don't stay on your head. Yes. You know, so I found it easier to have one of them that tie underneath. I like a piece of toast in the morning, but yeah. at least it didn't shoot off, because every other one I had just... I used to wake up in the night thinking, I'm so cold. And if you touched me, I'd think I were dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? You do, you do lose a lot of heat from there, yeah. that's, that's for sure. People underestimate it.